What's under this bonnet is not pleasant, but let's change that. What's good, y'all? She got nothing. Let's go. Uh, re, y'all, look at my hair. I, that clip before this one, y'all obviously seen I was in a bonnet and I refused to take my bonnet off and look like that on camera. But just know I took my hair out of my braids last night and I recorded that video, that little clip at 11.41. It is now 12.42. That's how long it literally took me to wash my hair. My hair was so dry and just so flaky. One thing about me, y'all, I don't like braids on me. Like, well, let me rephrase that. I like the way braids look on me, I do. But I don't like braids. Like, they really irritate me. So, the fact that I had them braids in that long, it's just mind blowing. But today, as you see by the title of the thumbnail, I am doing a little hair video because I feel like it's been a minute since I did a hair video. And I don't know about y'all, but I love doing hair videos because I change my hair almost every week. So why not? This specific hair video is not gonna be a tutorial because I already have a tutorial doing the same exact style on my channel. I'll put the thumbnail right here. If you wanna learn actually how to do this style, the only difference is today I'm going to be doing a middle part while well, attempting attempting to do a middle part. So that's going to be the, the only difference, but it's literally the same ponytail. It's the same um, edge control. It's the same products. Everything's literally the same. So if you want to learn how to do it, continue watching this video, but go ahead and go to that one after. Before we get into the time lapse of me blow drying my hair, because that's the next step, I wanted to show you guys this new heat protecting I got because I've been out of heat protecting for a while and I'm just like, um, let me get some heat protectant because I always blow dry and fly out my hair when I do my punch touches because I really love, love, love the sleek flat look. So I got the Gold Series Thermal Heat Protectant infused with argan oil helps protect hair from thermal styling damage up to 450 degrees, okay? For a heat style, sulfate free, paraben free, dye free from Pantene. I've used their, their conditioner and shampoo and I freaking love it. So the fact that they have a thermal heat protector, I was like, yeah. Stylist tips, finish the blow dry with a cold blast of air to help seal the cuticles. A cold blast of air from where? Anyway, I'm gonna just spray this amongst my hair and then when I do the flyer, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do sections. So let's go ahead and get into the, oh, my hair is so soft, y'all. <gasps> Y'all, I don't know if it's the heat protectant. You know what? I do know what it is. It is the heat protectant. It is 1254. My hair has never been done blow drying that fast. And it has my hair feeling so like lightweight. Like my hair feels so freaking good right now. And I, the heat protectant and this blow dryer go together real bad. This is one of my favorite blow dryers. This is a, Revlon, I don't know the actual name for it. But it's the brush blow dry, as you can see. And I, just, I literally just have to brush my hair and it's still blow drying. I'm like so shocked at how free flowing my hair is. Like, look at that. Like, what? I do need some oil though, but the blow drying process is done. Well, look at this. Oh, whoa. But look like I blow dry my hair the direction I'm gonna pull it back in. But I just want y'all to see like all together. Like look at that. That heat protector has my hair flowy. You hear me? Flowy. My hair is so just flowy. And I think I think I like that. But I need some oil on it, so let me go ahead and go get my oil. Got the oil. This is actually my mom's oil. But you know what's what's mine, what's hers is mine, what's mine is hers. This is the Africa's Best Ultimate Herbal Oil. My mom's been using this for months. This is what it looks like. 
if it'll focus. That's what it looks like. I have really um thin ed like I have thin sides as you can see. So hopefully if I start using this more, you know, they'll start to grow back. But I just want to talk to her because I feel like I have not been home to talk with you guys in so long. If you've been watching my other videos, you know well how many days? Monday through Friday I'm in Atlanta with Taya going to school doing what we do me and Taya have been dropping so many videos together so make sure to go check those out but I am home for the weekend my mother's birthday is tomorrow September 25th um with this video gonna come out before that so and she doesn't even know so I can go ahead and speak on it but I'm surprising her with a self-care day I will be uh vlogging tomorrow too because I'm gonna do a self-care day and then we're gonna go out to dinner and Tay's coming too. So yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna vlog all day tomorrow. T this video is gonna be up, I don't know. But tonight I'm also filming a brand new skincare video because it's been a long time. And if you're on TikTok and you've been seeing everybody making their own turmeric facial scrub pads. I gave in, so I'm gonna be doing that tonight. So, yeah, I haven't worn makeup in over a month, and I feel like my skin is glowing. So, we're gonna keep it up. I got a lot of new skincare stuff. Yesterday, me and my dad went like on a, a shopping spree. Where did we went to the? My hair is a mess, y'all. We went to the Beast Spice Store, we went to Burlington, we went to TJ Maxx, we went to Ulta, we went to Walmart. We. We was just all over, okay? We just had a daddy-daughter day. And I freaking splurged. And by the way, I got a new, I got a new vanity chair, but I'm not gonna speak too much on that because that video is getting filmed next weekend because I have, I'm redoing my vanity station once again. Not redoing, I'm adding to my vanity station. So stay tuned for that. One thing about this oil that I find interesting, it says it's a multi-purpose oil for hair, bath, nails and body and it's just like whoa that's a lot all in one right now i'm just working the oil in my sides because my hair was so dry in them freaking braids and then the next step is going to be flat ironing that process takes a minute one thing i do want is some new flat irons because for one these are old and these are by hot tools professional these are old but the fact that they heat up in 30 seconds is good but i feel like because they're old they're kind of just like burning my hair, if that makes sense. Like, y'all see? But these are the only ones I have, so I just have to deal with it. But if you guys know any good flat iron recommendations, please let me know because I am in need of some new flat irons. So I'm gonna part my hair in six sections and each section that I'm about to flat iron, I'm gonna be spraying the heat protectant because it says start with wet or dry hair before applying. Section hair and spray thermal heat protect on each section. Repeat as needed. So if you see me, boom, 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 flat iron, boom, 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 flat iron. That's what it says to do. So that's what we're gonna do. It is now 119, and that is half of my hair done. I really do like this heat protectant because ever since starting using this today, I already can tell that when I flatten my hair, it's not burning like I told y'all. Earlier I said I didn't like these flat irons because I just feel like they're burning my hair. But ever since I've been using this, I don't smell the burnt no more. So is it, do I really need a new set of flat irons or is, did I just need heat protectant? I don't know. Something's telling me just to like spray just, cause I think it's giving me a shine too. I don't know y'all, I don't know what's going on, but I like it. But this is half of my hair. My mom really needs to cut my ends, but it's okay. We can do it next go around. This is half of my hair flat ironed. Look at the symmetrical. It's like the longest in the back and then it goes shorter. I don't know, but oh, I hate doing the other half. I do not feel like doing the other half of my hair. Now, we went from this to this. 
Now we gotta go to this from this. But I'm jamming to R&B music, so let's go ahead and just get it, get it going. I totally just rushed this side. This side is not nearly as flat as this side, but it's okay because we're moving on. Because I wanna get my hair as flat as possible, I'm gonna do, um, what are these called, hot comb? But it's not gonna be like hella hot, but I need this to be flat because if it's not as flat as possible, it's not gonna lay as flat as possible. That's just common sense. That's just common sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug these up. If you guys haven't seen a video of these, where I got these from, make sure you go watch that because I'm not the type to enter every giveaway I see on social media, but I really, really wanted these. So I entered the giveaway and I actually won. So make sure you go check that video out. This only takes 30 seconds to heat up. I'm gonna flat iron, I mean, hot comb flat iron a little bit more, spray this just a little bit more, and then we're gonna get to molding. Molding is stressful, but we could do it. Okay, y'all, so I got it as flat as I wanted to with the hot comb. I'm not gonna put no more heat on it, but the next thing, I forgot to unplug it. The next thing is the molding. The way I'm gonna mold it because I want a middle part is I'm gonna part the middle like that and then section this. All of this is gonna go straight back and then I'm gonna mold this down and then swoop it. Hopefully it turns out how I want to. If not, we're just gonna mold this all back and we're just gonna do no part and we're just gonna get on about the day because what I'm not gonna do is let my hair stress me out. But that's the plan for now. We're gonna see if I can execute it. I've done it before, but I don't know. Something told me it's gonna be a little harder this time, so we'll see if it actually works out. But to mold it, I'm gonna be using my 24 hour edge tamer, um, edge brushes, obviously. I only use two products when I mold my hair. That's my edge control and the Fantasia liquid mousse, which is this stuff. The spritz actually broke on here, but I have a little bottle, so I just fill it up. But the one I'm using is the Mega Hold. And these are the only two things that I use to mold my hair, because that's what works best for me. So let's go ahead and get the molding. Okay, so I molded this side of my head. I actually had to use Eco Style Gel and mousse because my hair hasn't been molded like this in so long, so it needed some extra help. But uh, I use, so this is everything that I use. The foam, the edge control, the liquid mousse, and the Eco Style and Gel. It's not laying as flat as I wanted to, but it's because my hair hasn't been this, needed to be this flat in a long time. So I'm gonna just go ahead and keep perfecting it. I'm gonna do this side and I'm gonna see y'all when both sides are molded and hopefully I'm satisfied. Cause right now I'm not that satisfied, but I know I could work with it. Like it's gonna get better, but this is what it looks like. I just left a little edge. It's like a little edge, but it's a thick edge. If that makes any sense, hopefully that makes sense. But this is what it looks like. And there's no white People always ask me how do I use edge control like so much and it doesn't turn white. It's because I use, I put foam mousse on top of it so it can't create that white cast. So that's a helpful tip for those who get white cast when they do their hair. Okay y'all, it is exactly three o'clock. Exactly three of freaking clock. 
this was actually very hard to do this go around i really don't know why i do know why it's because my hair has not been molded back in a minute so it just has to get used to you know doing it if i were to do this like again next week take it down and remold it it would be way better because it's already been molded for a week but like i said i'm not gonna stress off of it my edges look a little uneven hold on i don't like that i don't like that not how the lay look that's a little better but still just look uneven but anyway i went ahead and molded it like i said it was kind of hard to do but hey it is what it is i need to cut my edge a little bit because it's a little too long yeah it's okay to cut your edges they're gonna go back People be like, oh my gosh, you just cut your edge. Yeah, because it's too long. It's okay. It's going to grow back. It's hair. But I'm going to I remember one time I did cut too much, but never again. So now that it's molded, I'm just going to go ahead and put mousse on it. And then put my head scarf on for probably like 45 minutes, honestly. I'm also doing laundry, so I'm probably just going to put up my laundry while this is drying and we're gonna put the ponytail on a little bit later i had to be done with this by 6 30 because i need to go to walmart so i'm gonna go ahead this is just styling mousse this is the mousse that i use it's olive miracle it's actually a really really good mousse if you want it to dry quick then go ahead and put a blow dryer on it but make sure it's cool but i'm just gonna let mine air dry right now and then put my headscarf on. It's not as flat as I want it, y'all, but it's okay, cause I am my worst critic. So y'all probably watching like, Ari, you did your big one with that. Like that looks perfectly fine. But I'm looking at it like, um, I've done better. So this is what it looks like, y'all. I'm gonna put a tons of mousse. And if you watch my hair videos, you know, I've said it before I have more I have more hair on this side of my head so this side's always harder for me to mold down so that's why it took a minute but I'm gonna let the mousse air dry and then I'm gonna put my head scarf on and I will see y'all when we put the ponytail on because that'd be my favorite part for real y'all look who came to visit me look at the camera bubble. say hi yeah, he don't like the bright lights. That's why he always faces the opposite direction. So it's been probably like 40 minutes. And what is that? Let me go change my shirt. But I changed my shirt. Like I was saying, it's been like 40 minutes since I put the headscarf on. So now we're gonna take it off. And I'm gonna have to put oil on the top, maybe. If there is flaking, I don't know. It's a little bit right here. So I'm gonna have to put oil on it just to get rid of the flakes. I can't put water. Sorry, y'all, I was focused. I can't put water when my hair flakes because it, it will curl my hair. So I have to put oil. But if you want to use water, you can use water too. And I'm out of oil sheen. I usually would put oil sheen. Y'all see how tight my headscarf is? Look at the line on my forehead. <laughs> I had that mug tight. I had that mug tight. Now it's time for my favorite part, which is the actual pointo. And my edges. I'm gonna do the edges last. But they did. I wish I had a mini, um, a mini flat iron so I could curl them. So they're like curly, but we're just gonna have to finesse it. But this is what it looked like completely dry, completely molded. My hair is like in a little twist on the back. And then we should get into the ponytail. Like I was telling y'all earlier, this is the same ponytail from the tutorial that I have on my channel. It's by Free Tress. Free Tress Equal Jawstring Ponytail in the style Rage Girl. 
the color is one because that's all they had and this is my favorite natural looking ponytail yeah i've been doing drawstring ponytail since i was in high school so the fact that a lot of people still aren't put on to it is crazy but just know when it comes to ponytails i got it i got it yeah 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 I'm a ponytail queen, okay? Nobody's touching me when it comes to ponytails at all. But now I'm gonna cut the tag off, run my fingers through it to get it fluffy, and then I'm gonna assemble, and then we are almost gonna be done with the video. Just something real cute, real cute. This hairstyle is probably only gonna, I'm probably only gonna go this week, and then I'm gonna do something different, cause y'all know how I am with my hair. But this is what it, the ponytail. This is what the ponytail look like right here. Yep, Rage Girl. I don't know if it's on Amazon. I get mine from my beauty supply store. So if I do find it on Amazon, let me know and I can link it in the channel below so y'all could get it. But it's not too long, not too short, and it's really, really curly. I love the curls in here. So I'm just gonna run my fingers through. I'm not gonna brush it, I'm not gonna comb it. I'm just gonna run my fingers through it to get the curls kind of volumized. And we're gonna assemble. And it does shed a little bit, but that end of, that ends up stopping like once you're, you're done. So that's what we finna do. You don't wanna like mess with it too much cause y'all have to remember it's synthetic hair. But this is what it looks like after I fluffed it out with my fingers. And now we're just gonna assemble. And this comb goes at the top. This there's another comb at the bottom. Right here. And then you pull this to tighten. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. If you ever feel like you're a ponytail, you're scared to do ponytails because it's gonna come off. There's really no way it could come off unless you don't draw string it tight enough. But you should know to do that. So it's fairly easy. And one thing about these, I don't sleep with them. I take them right on off when I go to sleep. And I pop it right back on when I wake up. Just that simple. So if you're sleeping on plain toes, I'm going to need you to wake up and smell the roses. Because, yeah. So this is what, the harder you pull it, the tighter it's gonna be. So I pulled it hard, so now when I do this, it's not going so nowhere, nowhere at all. And then you just wrap this around and you won't be able to see it because of the amount of hair that there is. But this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like from the back. Just hair. Just hair. If you want to secure the string, all you have to do is bobby pin it to a certain section, like wherever you want. But like I said, I'm not going to be, I don't have a lot to do, so I'm not going to, you know, do too much with it. You just wrap it. The tighter you wrap it, the tighter it will be. I don't want mine that tight today, so I didn't wrap it that hard. And you just continue to fluff it out. And this is what it looks like. And then it's not too long, not too short. So you could also wear it on your shoulders. I've done that in the past. I think it's super cute. See y'all. Now let's do my edges. All right, y'all. This is how the hair turned out. I love, love wearing it on my shoulders, but I've had the vision for the longest to just have a straight back curly ponytail, so. That's what we're gonna just stick with. I went ahead and brushed my eyebrow hairs because they were all open planes, but y'all, side note, I just got this yesterday, the NYX brow glue, and it's so freaking good. Like, I don't even understand. It's so good. 
but I need my eyebrows done. So we're just gonna have to roll with this. But this is how the hair turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you wanna know exactly how to do it, I will leave that video link below. Make sure you like this video, comment anything you want as long as it's positive, hit the subscribe button. Cause we're at like, what are we at? I think we're at like five, we're at 589. So let's go ahead and make sure you hit the button. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to follow me on all my social media as it is popping up right here. And let me know for real what color I should dye my hair, y'all. Because I'm thinking about dyeing my hair in like the next one to two weeks. I have a color in mind, but I want to see what y'all say. So comment below what hair color I should dye my hair. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.